Hi, welcome to Wardrobe Wednesday. Who's ready for some decluttering? I'm excited. Um, so I thought we're in isolation. We want to keep busy. We want to do something positive, which is really good for our mental health. So why not declutter your wardrobe or work on yourself if it's something that you've been wanting to do for months and you just not got round to doing? Or you could have tried, opened the wardrobe doors, thought that is just so overwhelming and stressful shut the doors and left it for another day. And all you need is just a bit of a step-by-step -step process. It's a little bit more than just throwing clothes out, which I am going to teach you on these episodes each week and you'll realize. Um, before we start, there is nothing to be ashamed of when it comes to your wardrobe. I thought we'd just get this out the way first. Everybody says to me, you would die if you see my wardrobe or oh my god, I wouldn't show you mine in a million years and I have seen it all. I don't care what it looks like. You don't have to send me any pictures either. So don't make yourself feel guilty or feel bad. Let's just start tackling it so it's no longer a stress for you. So some of the struggles you might be having right now is things like opening your wardrobe, not knowing what to wear, even though it's cram-packed full of clothes. You feel like nothing really goes together. There could just be like a mash of colours and patterns that don't go. Um, there could be clothes with a lot of tags on that you've bought or panic bought. You probably have clothes you've never worn for at least 12 months or years. You wear four or five outfits that go on you in the wash and they circulate and you just want to get to grips on it basically and you just want it to go together, you don't want it to be stressful, you want to open your wardrobe doors and just know exactly what to wear and that is the end result that we are working towards and the first step that I would normally take a client through is looking at your wardrobe as a representation of yourself. So right now what you'll be doing is you'll just be buying clothes so you'll go and buy an outfit and then you put it in your wardrobe we we don't think oh my wardrobe needs this so i'm going to buy that and it would create more outfits we just buy outfits bang them in and then over time it ends up really really cluttered it all doesn't go together you you know those pieces just become one outfit you don't mix and match them and over the years if you don't declutter it then it just becomes crammed full of outfits from you over the years so the end goal being in the capsule wardrobe and shopping for you in your capsule and everything just going together that is something that i'm slowly going to work towards with you but you have to start with the basics which is you your wardrobe is a reflection of you if you have a cluttered wardrobe then chances are you have a cluttered mind and you have a confused style. So the first stage I would normally look at someone's wardrobe with their style code. I would say let's make this represent your style code. So obviously right now I understand that we aren't necessarily doing your style code tonight. Um, but there are ways that you can start to look at your wardrobe with my tips and you can start decluttering regardless. So what I want you to do to start with tonight is I want you to go and I want you to open your wardrobe doors. I want you to stand back and I want you to have a good look at it. And I want you to think about what it tells you. Is it overly cluttered? Is there part of you from years and years ago, like from when you were on maternity leave, before you got married and after you got married, when you were at university, um, there will be parts of you from years and years that are still in there. And you may notice that there are different styles in there that aren't really you now. So what you're gonna do, once you've stepped back and you've had a bit of a look and you've thought about it, instead of just, maybe ignoring it every day, is you're gonna maybe get a reel or get a back of the door, just somewhere you can hang some clothes. You're gonna get the four or five outfits that you wear the most, that you rotate daily and weekly. I want you to put them on the reel or the back of the door and I want you to look at them. What is it about these outfits that makes you wear them the most? What is it about the rest of your wardrobe that is just sitting there? Um, it'll tell you a lot. There'll be something about those four or five outfits that show how you have evolved. 
what you like now, maybe what you suit. Um, the other thing I thought you could do tonight because you don't need a style code for this and it's a great way to just slowly start minimizing the clutter out of there which we're going to do over time. So old, bobbly, worn or dated. So is it something that just needs to go, it's so worn, it's got a hole in, it's crispy, the material, whatever. Things that are really worn will pull down your style and the things that you just need to let go of, they're done, they've had their time. You need to either pop these items in a recycle bag um, to, to throw out, obviously, don't put them in the bin, we want to recycle them. If they can be saved, like could you shave the bubbles off, could you sew the hole and they're still good quality items, then don't put them in a bag, pop them aside and you're going to take them to a tailor or you're going to do it yourself, or you could ask your mom or somebody to fix it. And then finally, is it a little bit old and worn, but you know, you would you could give it to charity. It is salvageable, but you won't wear it. So it's charity, you're going to fix it yourself, or it's going to be recycled. These are things that are sitting in there, it could, you know, that are old, that are done, and they're just taking up unnecessary room. This is the first step and then when we come back next week we're going to work on a little bit more of what you've looked at from those four or five outfits on building that wardrobe that represents you and we'll get further and deeper into slowly decluttering everything out of there and creating a wardrobe that you'll open and you'll love okay so i'll leave that with you today you can dm me any questions at all tonight and i'll speak to you soon thank you